Imer. Kaylin and St Mary's from Derry. Tell me about your project. Well, we were investigating the possible antibiotic effect of the water-soluble B vitamins. And tell me what that means. It means we were investigating to see how well vitamins would work against bacteria such as E. coli and how much, like how fast it would take to kill off the bacteria. What made you think of this project? Well, in the, the new study cited in the media, um, articles suggest that B3 may be able to combat some of the antibiotic staph infections like MRSA and they're increasingly common like deaths in the world today and can pose a significant threat to the health of people. Well, so this is all very important because every single day we hear about superbugs and yeah. hospitals, etc., etc. Yeah, well, we what we did was we made solutions up of each vitamin, like all of the B vitamins and vitamin C, and we just did recommend the daily amount and then did recommend the recommended daily amount times two, times three, and times four, and we made solutions of all of them. Then we just soak discs in the solutions and put them in inoculated plates with bacteria. And the results was that B1, with a recommended daily amount of times three, had the highest and the fastest killing of the bacteria. And B1 RDA had the lowest. So from a lay person's point of view then, what do, what do those results actually mean? They mean that the vitamin zones of inhibition larger than, were larger than six millimetres. And also that um, B1 recommended amount times three would be best to take if you have a cold or an illness or something because it will kill off the bacteria in your system faster and help your immune system to get back to work quicker as well. Uh, surely it's important to spread that word you know, to people. Is, it, is that something that you've thought of? Yeah, well, we thought about it because it was in the media and not a lot of people kind of know about this so we, we decided to take it to BT and decided to just kind of make, make sure people, people make people aware of it. I think it's fascinating it must have taken you think, ages did it? Uh, well it did take a good few good weeks few and stuff, like a few months even. Moving on then from that, you're obviously very into STEM related subjects. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about how important you think it, it is to study STEM subjects at school. Well, I think it's important because of the fact that people need to be aware of like, you know, like science and technology and also gets creative minds to go, do you know what I mean? And it, it, help, it will help people in the future too. What about whenever you leave school? Have you thought of moving into a STEM related career? I have thought on that about and I'm just going to see what happens after I leave school. Stuff. Yeah, well, same with me. I was very interested in STEM subjects. Too young to make that decision. <laughs> Too young yet. <laughs> I haven't a clue even yet what I'm going to do. <laughs> Thanks very much, Gareth. That's fascinating. Thank you. Thank you.